What's up, boys and girls? It is White Gamer. Today we have the max rated center back built. This is the updated version. So for your position, you're gonna go with center back height. We're gonna go with six foot. We have to have to go with six foot if you want to be max rated. The weight, we're going with 152 pounds. Now for your playstyle plus, the first one I recommend is Anticipate Plus. This is gonna improve your chances of winning the standing tackle, and it comes out with a lot of accuracy and the ball will stay right in front of your feet when you do make that standing tackle the next one we're gonna go with is aerial plus it's gonna allow you to perform even higher jumps and since we're only playing six foot you're gonna need it now guys another honorable mention i want to say is a block plus block plus i use that one in my personal cb bill it's very very good especially if you know how to position yourself you're gonna get a lot of blocks now from the regular play style the first one I recommend is the ping pass, guys. This one's really good when you're doing an RBA or R1X pass. So your teammates that are nearby, the ball travels much quicker, and it has a, a good amount of accuracy if you didn't have this play style. The next one is the long ball pass, guys. When you're doing X or square balls to find your teammates or if you need to switch as a CB, very, very useful, guys. Then we're going to go with the block. If you didn't go with the block plus, go with the regular one. It works fine. It's not as good as the plus version, but it'll do the job. Next, we're going with intercept. Is going to increase the chances of you intercepting the ball. Pretty self-explanatory. As long as you're near the ball, your pro will make that interception. Next one we're going is with Brewster, guys. So when you're going for standing tackles, it's going to come out with more strength. And it's super noticeable. I remember in the start of the year when I didn't have this, I noticed a difference. The tackle just comes out way more aggressive. And again, with more physicality. And then last but not least, guys, we're going to go with Quick Step. This is going to allow for your pro to accelerate a little bit quicker. Now, I want to mention another one, the Power Header. I was using this pretty much until like two weeks ago when I started using Ping Pass. But Power Header is also a good one. It's an increase of power on your headers and the accuracy. But we're going to go with the Ping Pass because I think it's a very good one. So these are the play styles and play style plus that we went for the center back build. Now, for the running style, the one I've been recommending the entire year for CB and the one that I personally use is the Medalist. There's just something about this running style. It makes your pro seem super fast when you're tracking back to your opponent. So I highly recommend the Medalist. Again, you can use whichever one you prefer the most, but I use the Medalist on my center back build. Now we have the skill tree, guys. If you want to be the max rated, you got to follow it. So we're going to fill out the sprint speed. And that's it. You're going to have 71 acceleration and 88 sprint speed. For a lot of people, I would say like 98% of the t uh, people or 99%, this is going to be too slow. I understand. You're only going to have 80 pace in total combining the acceleration and sprint speed. But like I said, if you want the max rated, you got to go with this. So yeah, we're going to have the sprint at 88 and acceleration 71. Then from the shooting, you're going to get the heading accuracy. Then listen carefully, guys. You're going to get the other heading. So this one, make sure it says 2 out of 2, that one. So that will give you 93 heading accuracy. And that's the most important thing from the shooting. You want to get have good heading accuracy, not only to score headers, but to pass the ball with your head. Now, from the passing, guys, we're going to get the short passing and then you're going to get the architect archetype. So this will boost your short passing to 93 which is very 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 good 79 long pass is also good enough for a cb trust me you can still find your teammates especially if you went with the long ball pass play style and that's the most important thing from the passing the long pass and the short passing now from the dribbling guys we're gonna go with balance and then we're gonna go with ball control and then get the other balance make sure this one says two out of two this will give you 70 balance which that's going to determine how often your pro falls when you're being challenged by other defenders 70 balance is all right, you know, it's not, nothing crazy. And then you got 77 ball control. Ball control is also important for a CB. Sometimes, even it happens to me, my pro doesn't take the greatest ball control and it could lead to the ball bouncing out of my pro or whatnot. So that's why we focus on some ball control. And then the 63 agility, I don't use the agility on my builds, but I know some people do. But if you go with agility, you're not going to get the max rated built. So we have to go with the dribbling on the ball control and balance. And then from the defending everyone, you're gonna get everything filled out, get completely everything, get the guardian. Now look at these defending stats. You have 95 interceptions, 97 defensive awareness. That's just gonna allow you to perform standing tackle, sliding tackle, interception, just much, much better when you have a high defensive awareness stat. Then you have 97 stackle and 99 slide tackles for those people that love to slide tackle all the time. You got it maxed out. 
these are very very good defending stats guys not much to say and then from the physical you're gonna get everything guys get everything filled out from the physical get all that jumping and then get your reactions make sure the reactions is two out of two guys two out of two for all these reactions don't forget make sure you get them two out of two and look at these physical stats guys you have 99 jumping which is insane and you have the aerial plus you know the downfall to this build is the six foot and the low pace but you know you got the 99 jumping and the aerial plus to hopefully you can still win some headers you're not gonna win e you're not gonna win every header because you're only six foot but you should be winning still a good amount if you know how to time them and whatnot then you have 93 strength which is more than enough to outbody all your attackers or wingers whoever you're coming up against and then 98 reactions the reactions are gonna allow you to, to intercept the ball much better and it's in a lot for pros to also react to the ball much better when you have it and when you're going for standing tackles just improve the animations overall guys reaction and then the 97 aggression so when you're going for body challenges or tackles the more aggressive your pro is the better it is and the easier it is to bully your opponent so if we back out ladies and gentlemen you are going to be a max rated center back which is 95 you have 80 pace which for a lot of people is going to be low and i completely understand it you have 93 hatting accuracy, 79 passing from the dribbling. What really matters is the ball control and balance, 96 defending, and 93 physical. I recommend this build mostly for division. If you're playing competitive, I don't recommend it, but try it out. See how you guys like it. Other than that, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.